The next thing I wanted to ask everybody was how did you get to Mendoza? Because it is not an easy place to get to from North America. Um, I remember when I was trying to find flights, I wanted to hopefully meet up with Jean so we could, you know, link up in the airport and then arrive into Mendoza together. Um, and so I flew out of the Santa Barbara airport, which is my local airport um, close to where I live in Southern California. So I think I flew from there to Dallas, Texas, to Sao Paulo, Brazil. And then I met up with Jean, I think in Sao Paulo, right? And then we flew from Sao Paulo to Mendoza. And so I think all told for me, it was close to 24 hours of travel. So it was pretty uh, intense. It was a long day. And so, um, Jean, you're in Florida. So I think that would have been a little shorter for you. Did you go the same way both times? No, I, I took two different ways. The first time I drove to Orlando um, and I flew on Copa, but flew um, Orlando to um, Panama City. And there I met up with Amy, who went with me that time. So we met in Panama City and then we went into Mendoza, but I got in midnight. And then the second time I met up with you, I went, um, I flew to Miami and then Miami to Sao Paulo and then Sao Paulo to um, Mendoza. And that, that, that was, uh, we got there in the middle of the day. So that was better, I think, for that. And uh, so for me, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. True. That was, I know we did get there at, like during the day, which was, which was helpful. Um, yeah. Kendra, how did you, how did you arrive? I actually flew out of Washington, DC. I was visiting family at the time. Um, and then you always have to fly to a big hub. So I flew up to JFK in New York. And then from there, that was the big long haul down to Santiago in Chile. Um, and then from Chile over to uh, Mendoza. But the one thing that I probably would change is build in an extra day before you start wine tasting. <laughs> because we had a wine tasting like the night that I got in and I'm just like, wow, I am very jet lagged. But um, but yeah it's, yeah, it's a long haul. If you can sleep, that's great. Um, but it was totally worth it. Yeah, I actually remember we met you in the, the hotel. <laughs> and you were close to that on your feet, but it was like, hey, you want to go to a museum? <laughs> so, yeah. 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 I was just on adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then Garrett, how did you get down there? All right. We, we booked through United and then they, they, they put us on Copa. So we went from, uh, from Dallas to Houston and then Houston to Panama city. And we actually met up with Gene and Amy in Panama city. And it was totally by luck. We, it wasn't something that was planned. And then uh, we went from Panama City to uh, Mendoza. Gene's absolutely right. Arriving at midnight was challenging because, you know, you're driving down a road with a driver that doesn't speak English. So, you know, we, we were a little nervous about where we we're going or what we were doing, but it all worked out great. Uh, Copa right. Airlines was, was, was fantastic. Cool. And then Kala, I believe another way some people can arrive sometimes is if you can get a flight into Buenos Aires, right? Um, and yes. then... No, there are flights from yes, Buenos there, Aires. There is flight from Buenos Aires. I mean, Mendoza is a small city. It's a city, but it's not a, a big capital, do you know? So the, we don't have a, a lot of international flights arriving to Mendoza. We only have uh, five uh, international flights. Well, one from Santiago de Chile, one from Panama, from Sao Paulo, uh, from Lima, Peru, and from Buenos Aires. So you must get to one of those uh, cities first to get to Mendoza then. Uh, okay. Another new, yes, and another new option that we're going to have from August this year is flight from Miami or New York to Buenos Aires and di direct directly to Buenos Aires and from Buenos Aires to Mendoza. That is, that is that flight is going to be able now uh, from August 